Howdy guys, what's happening in the universe? Good, uh, good, good weekend coming up. This is Friday, October the 6th at 2.43 p.m. Central Standard Time. Beautiful day. And uh, anyway, what I wanted to touch on, this will be a little different type of video, something I haven't done. But it, I just thought of it because I've, I've been cleaning out stuff and I ran across some stuff that I've had for a long time, a few months, several months. And I got it... Uh, just you know, one of those just in case things and uh, what it is if we have one of those EMS storms electromagnetic things and that can be caused by the Sun and again I'm not a doomsdayer you know I'm not walking around saying the world ends tomorrow I'm not chicken little and so you know if it does it just does but you know I want to give myself a 50% opportunity to make it through the storm so to speak so in other words you know, if there was an interruption, you know, like the hurricanes along the Gulf and that sort of thing, I mean, if there was a major power outage or something, you know, where your water pump didn't work, if you live out in the country or you in town, you know, the water system wasn't working and stuff, there is a way to get drinking water anywhere, almost. And what this thing, this thing right here is called, it's called a life straw, L-I-F-E-S-T-R-A-W, okay? And it will cost you $19.95 from uh, Amazon and if you leave it sealed in this package and it's also sealed inside it will last forever is what they told me you could keep this thing 20 years and then take it out of here and use it as directed and it would still do what it's supposed to do and it is a straw you know what you do you you uh, you put the end of the live straw you remove both ends got little caps on it and you put it in the in the water that you want to drink let it sit there for about 10 seconds or so and then take five quick sips from the mouthpiece and then after you're finished you blow air through it to keep the filter clean and to keep it from clogging up okay and uh, then after you use it you let it dry thoroughly you leave the caps off until it's dried thoroughly and then put the filter back but here's let me tell you what uh, you could drink water out of a mud hole with this okay I'm telling you that's how good it is but what I would recommend you do if you've got something to put the water in is put you know, dip the water out of the river, the creek, or the mud hole, or whatever you get handy, and let it sit for an hour or so, and let all the sedimentation uh, go to the bottom. And if you have a clear jug, uh, that even works better, because you can actually let water sit in a clear jug. Clear is the key word there. Clear glass jug uh, <clears throat> in the direct sunlight for about six or eight hours, and it'll kill everything in there. Okay, I mean, it, it'll be, you wouldn't even need this, but I'd still use it. <clears throat> so yeah you can use this uh, this is only for emergencies of course you, I mean, it, it, you, know, you can't just do it all the time but it, uh, but yeah it would work so that gives you water what's water good for you can go without water uh, probably three or four days and then boo -boo, adios amigo a lot of things start going bad so anyway this is a personal water filter it's called a life straw l-i-f-e-s-t-r-a-w and I'll leave a link to it in the description for those of you that might want to get one, just to have it around, okay? It's what I, it's like the mind changer, my little pistoli. I never use it, but it's peace of mind knowing it's there, okay? And this is the same way. Do, well, have I used it? No. If I never used it, would it bother me? No, not a bit. But if I did need it, then I need it bad, okay? And then it's too late. You can't get one. So the next thing I've got, and I use these similar things when I was in the Peace Corps. Again, this is for water. The reason I focus on water so much, because it's more important. In other words, you just can't go as long without water as you can without food. You can go without food for about 10 days if you've got water. All right, or approximately. I mean, you know, I'm not a perfect on this. I'm not a survivalist either. But this thing here, this is these are water purification tablets. And you drop the tablet in the water, wait about, it says 35 minutes. But I would only, I'd wait for an hour, no hurry. But it, uh, it, it you know, gets the giardia and all that stuff out. But, you know, this is 100%. <clears throat> you know, it'll make uh, water that's filthy good to drink. But again, if you have a container, you can put the water in. Put the water in the container. Let it sit. Let all the sediment fi filter down to the bottom. Then drop in a tablet. And you don't need to stir it. Okay? Let's see if that's right. Uh, da, 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 tablets or uh, 
Uh, directions for use, da, 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 da. it says add two tablets to one quart of water or liter of water and cap loosely to allow small amount of leakage. Wait five minutes. Oh, it does say shake it, so forget the idea about letting the water settle. You got to shake the container to allow screw threads on the closure to be moistened, then tighten cap. But anyway, whatever. Uh, the instructions come with it. And this cost $8.25, okay? So I've got about $30 tied up in drinking water stuff, okay? And uh, last but not least, and again, this is stuff I've had a while, and do I think the world's going to end tomorrow? No. But if it did, it ain't going to hurt, it ain't going to make any difference whether you got water or not. You know, if we get nuked, adios. But the thing I'm thinking about that can happen, and it's just a, na a mother nature thing, and it happened years ago, and it shut down the power, and all along the eastern seaboard and up into Canada and different areas. And it was just a, a magnetic storm caused by one of the solar flares on the sun. Wasn't talked about a hell of a lot, but it did happen. And uh, the next thing I've got here, and this comes in handy when you get ready to eat, because you know sooner or later you're going to want to get something to eat when all your food's run out, if it has. Uh, and this comes in handy here uh, because, I mean, I'm big on, you know, if, you, if there's stuff around that's edible, then get it you know like plants plants or there's a lot of plants that have roots or leaves that are edible and little fruits or whatever and you can uh this is a guide and it's, it's not the greatest guide in the world but this is a it's it's plastic covered you know what i mean and this is called edible wild plants it's just a little brochure and i can't let me see if i still got the price on it yeah it was like 6.95 and they make several different ones of these but anyway, th this is for a North American species and uh, plants and stuff. But yeah, and, and the thing I want this for is I want it to keep me from eating the bad stuff, okay? I'm not too concerned about, uh, you know, finding the good stuff. I want to know what's going to kill me because some of these plants will do that. You know, you eat the wrong mushroom and down the rabbit hole you go with Alice in Wonderland, you okay? And uh, that ain't what I want to do. I want to be, and I don't want terminal diarrhea and all that crap. So, you know, and, and, but, but these will help, all this is is a guide. It's just going to help you identify by the shape of the leaves, uh, the color of the blooms, and different things that you might be able to use to survive, particularly the roots of the plants, okay? Now, what else? That's all, okay? So now we know we can survive. And then, you know, in, in, you know if you can make it, you know, if there's a, a terrible interruption in our food chain, uh, then if you can make it for the first two weeks, you will have developed a lot of good habits to help you survive for the next two weeks and on and on and on, you know. But having said that, again, this is, I'm not a doomsdayer, but, you know, the live straw uh, for drinking water is great. Now, the tablets, you know, I give that 50-50. You know, I'm not too sure if you need that as a double backup. I just happen to have them. And uh, that's the way that is. So that's what, what's this video going to be titled? Don't know. <laughs> but anyway, uh, also just a little update for you guys. Uh, the RV, according to, the, they call me, uh, it should be here the later part, latter part of next week. They said they were very optimistic because they said it only takes two and a half days from Indiana to here. And uh, should be moving out here in the next two days. So it should be here, well, according to them, Wednesday. But anyway, that's off the topic. But having said that, guys, uh, keep your health and enjoy your life. Hey, Google, sound level eight. Hey, Google, tell me a joke. One joke coming up. What's orange and sounds like a parrot? A carrot. I don't know what to say. Thumbs up, Carpe Diem, adios, bye-bye, bye, USA, maybe when you can drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day will not hurt you. Not three or four gallons. It will help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and help you lose weight. Take deep breaths in through your nose. Hold it for one second, and then breathe out through your mouth. You don't have to count to a thousand. Forget that. You'd be, you'd be dead, okay? <laughs> dead, dead, dead. We don't want you dead. We want you healthy. Uh, that relieves stress. Relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. And lowering your blood pressure is good for you. What else? Stretch, walk, 
That's what I'm fixing to do right now. It's a beautiful day. It's not that cool outside, but it ain't that hot either. So anyway, guys, from Central Texas, USA, this is Rusty78609 telling you guys have a great weekend. And, uh, you know, enjoy it. Because I am. Even though I ain't going to do anything. Adios, guys.